We're in Caprune, Austria right now, and we are gonna go kick it with a total badass David Wise. <laughs> Kicking it with a badass. So here he is. What's up, dude? Yo, How let's go doing? skiing. Yeah, you ready? I'm ready. Uh, I may have to borrow some equipment from you. I'm short a couple of vital items, skis, boots, poles. Is it that bad? <laughs> the funny thing is, is that like my ski racing is going to be so Oh so man, different. I'm going to rip some turns. There we go. Oh yeah. And they're called Speed Charger <laughs> by some un undisclosed brand. Professional two time okay. Olympic gold medalist, skier. <laughs> Those will do. We're gonna go ski for the first time in six months. And in the first gondola, we meet these epic fans. Got it. Got it. <laughs> it. So, who is this guy? This guy is an insane skier. He has won the Olympic gold medal while throwing down like no one else. It's just insane. And then you're sitting man. here in this gondola and somehow you notice this guy is David Wise and you really <laughs> don't get it. So bad. <laughs> so nice. So it's gotta be so a perfect nice. day. Bluebird, sun's out, so much fun. We're hyped. <laughs> <laughs> And as we're coming up, the wind just starts to howl. Cool, he's doing it on the other one. Oh, 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 wow! <laughs> that just happened. Holy cow! Are you awake? Wow! This place looks so badass. On the tail end, hopefully, of a pretty gnarly recovery. I shattered my femur in April. This is my first time on snow since. What's your goal for today? Today is day one on snow in six months. But today is purely just putting the skis on, sliding around. I might get off the ground a little, but not much. That's, I have no, no stresses at all. I'm really excited to see your first turn. This is literally my first turn in six months. I can't wait. You Let's nervous? do this. Not even. normal skier, six months isn't that long, but for a professional skier in the middle of his career at his prime, it's a really long time. Woo! He still got it, baby! There's nothing like a long injury to make you appreciate a top to bottom groomer. <laughs> that might have been my favorite top to bottom groomer ever. That was, oh, it feels so good. It feels good. It feels good to be back out there laying into these skis on my rental boots. <laughs> awesome. It is tough to come back on a powder day. I Please. mean, it just looks like, so fun out there right look now. At look at these guys. Yeah, buddy! It's actually not really worth it, is it? No, it's still fun. Yeah. So I know nothing about your sport. Do you want to explain it to me a little bit? Uh, yeah, so my sport, what I compete in most is half pipe skiing. What I love about half pipe skiing is it's still a competition, but it's also very, very individual, very style oriented. Half pipe is a work of art, and we take this work of art that somebody else's job is to manicure and cut at exactly the right degree. Because if it's too steep, then we'll launch off and land in the flats, and if it's not steep enough, then we'll launch off and land on the deck. I mean, all free skiing sports are, are dangerous. There, there's, there's injury in slope style. There's injury in, in you know big mountain skiing, but. The margin for error in half pipe is the slimmest. I mean, you have basically a two foot window, that's the sweet spot, and anything outside of that could potentially cause injury. So if you land too low, you're coming down with tons of force. If you land on the deck, you know, you're both dealing with the initial impact with the deck, but then you're also dealing with this catastrophic, potentially second impact with the bottom of the half pipe or whatever. So, and that's what makes it, that's what makes it so scary but that's also kind of what makes it fun is you're like you are you're right you're literally riding the razor blade and you're you're pushing yourself on on the like this super fine 
you know, limit. And it makes it tough, but it makes it fun. <laughs> Level of stoke, high. Oh yeah, high to very high. Strong to very strong out here. We've skied the pistes enough. You've crushed the piece. Yeah, I am getting bored. We're gonna go see if we can sneak into the half pipe for a run or two on these race skis. The nice thing about half pipe skiing is if you do it right, there's no impact. And I have a feeling I might be the only guy to have ever aired out of a 22 foot pipe on this particular model of ski. We'll find out. That's for sure. <laughs> Here we go. But who do we have to ask? If my coaches are standing at the top, then I'll have to talk them into it. But if they're standing at the bottom, then I'll just ask for forgiveness rather than permission. <laughs> okay. Good. Right. Ah! He says, take her easy, as they say in Canada. Take her easy. Let's send it! Meanwhile, I'm like, oh god, this thing looks enormous. Ugh. But luckily I didn't have enough time to really think about it. So watching David here in the pipe, this looks so natural, so calm. And as his coaches were explaining earlier. Uh, he was always the guy who would throw down <laughs> on the last possible moment and then win or beat you, and you're just always like, ah, I can't believe it. And then now as a coach, I, I, I'm seeing the other side of it, and I love it, because you know that he's always gonna put down his best run when it matters. Yeah, <laughs> that, was that wasn't as sketchy as I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> it's a wrap on day one. Got into the U-ditch, got some air under me. Yeah, body feels good. Leg feels pretty strong. Remember what it feels like? And I'm stoked. Woo! Yeah. Awesome man. It's like, yeah, look, man. Got your present though. Ooh! Hey, apple a day. Mm-hmm. Super fun day here. Um, you know, it's always really fun when you get to do something totally different. When I was like following him in, I was like, oh god, this is gonna be sketchy. But super fun, what a great day. Um, super fun to kick it with total badass. Titanium femur, all pieced back together. Feeling good getting out there and uh, stoked to see what we can get into tomorrow. Sick, dude. Thanks, boss. Yes. Just to clarify, that is not me getting this footage, getting that high. Uh, that's Mike, his coach, who's Olympic silver medalist. And uh, give us a follow if you like this, and check out David Wise's channel. Give him a follow as well, and have an epic day. It's kind of crazy how much you travel on your uh, switches. Oh 